ครับSo this is going to be the area of the house that's dedicated to the indoor cycling. It's getting colder and colder out and I have some items set up over here for my road bike so that I could still maintain and even improve my fitness when it's raining, snowing, negative zero degree, negative zero degrees, negative 20, whatever it could be, I'll be able to get in my workouts and stay in shape. So I did bring my rollers down here just in case. I don't know if I'm going to be using them. I think I'm going to leave my bike attached to the indoor trainer. But just in case I want to change it up, the rollers are fun to ride for 10 or 20 minutes. It gives a great workout and it improves balance, improves your cadence. Definitely good to have them. They're also pretty affordable too. So figured, why not? They're lightweight, they're cheap, they're easy. Great to have. All right, let's see what we got here. Oh my god, this thing Jeez, this thing is heavy. It is heavy, but it's also pretty easy to lift because I have this nice handle. And check that out. Look how small that is. This thing will fit in like a tiny little closet. Wow. It comes with a cassette. That is pretty cool. Thought I'd have to buy one of those. What is this for? Oh. So there's a little blue thing right here. You push it down. That's when you can store it. We're gonna have to take this quick release adapter out. This bike doesn't use quick release. It's a disc brake bike. Disc brakes are better in every way. In case anyone was wondering. I don't know why you'd buy a rim brake bike nowadays. All right, let's go ahead and out comes the through axle. That almost sounded Canadian. Not crush our derailleur. mess up our super expensive bicycle here. This is the piece that we needed. So we're going to put this right here. That way it makes a nice union with the bicycle frame. Thank you. 
is going to be a lot of fun this winter. And as you can see, you always want to set it up next to some sort of ventilation. That way, I have my fan somewhere. I have that fan. Maybe I'll set it up right where the water bottles are. But between the fan there and if it's ice cold outside, it should be perfect. Set up my MacBook somewhere in front of me. Maybe I'll set my MacBook up over there. It might be too high. Maybe I'll grab a, I don't know. I'll figure something out to put it right here. That way I can ride Zwift. But yeah, overall, psyched on the whole pain cave, whatever you want to call it, workout corner. It's gonna be a lot easier than getting all dressed up and warming the car up and going to the gym. Love, love, love the gym. Don't love it taking a half an hour to get to the gym. By the time I decide to go warm the car up, get changed, it's a lot of friction. You wanna reduce friction when it comes to things like working out. The almighty GoPro Hero 9 or 10, a great little piece of hardware for vloggers, videographers, especially if you're like me and you like to film your cycling videos. Uh, this thing is so tiny, it's, I mean, you can fit this thing in your back pocket and a jacket pocket, especially with the front screen. It's just a great little option for a do-it-all camera with one fatal flaw. And it's the same flaw as the iPhone or any smartphone, wind noise. The audio is okay, but it picks up a lot of wind noise. So I was using, I, was, I have the media mod, it's okay. I, I kind of stopped using it because when I turned the camera to me and I turned it around, the microphone's only facing the front of it. So it's almost like you can't hear me if I'm in the back pointing at something into the distance. So then I reverted to one of these. And as you can see, I kind of cut it. The reason why I did that was so that if I wanted to remove the, if I wanted to get a different mount, if I wanted to use my grill mount, or anything like that, I could just very easily squeeze it onto here without actually having to disassemble everything. And just squeezing it on is a little bit easier than it originally comes, this is not cut. This is all one piece. So for me to take it on and off, I'd have to un unhook this and take the actual handle off. This is okay, but it also makes the camera big and bulky. So I did get something from Amazon. We're gonna take a look at what it is. Some little stick-ons. Let's see if I can stick them on successfully. And it looks like I got the wrong ones. I wanted to get ones where you could put a little sticker right here and then just put that right there. And then there's another one right here and you can cut it to size, but these are ones that go over the lav mic with a little scrunchie right there. Fail, mission failed. I'll have to go to Amazon and then just see what else is out there and make sure I order the ones that have the stick-ons. For now, I got no choice but to just use this. But if it's not a windy day, I prefer to run the GoPro just as it is. It's small, the audio, I actually enjoy the audio better without the media mod. The media mod does allow you to hook up the Rode Video Micro, which I'm talking into right now on the ZV-1. While the ZV-1 is a great vlogging camera and it does come with a little wind muffler with it. So right out of the box, the ZV-1 is better with wind noise. The lens is a little bit tight, especially if you use active stabilization. And this one has much better active stabilization and it just, the audio is great. It's just that wind noise. For right now, I'm just gonna keep using this. I'm gonna consult Amazon and see what else I can find. That's gonna be it for today's video, guys. You got to see my indoor cycling setup. I thought I was gonna be able to put some little stick-ons on here. I guess that's a project for another day. As always, thanks so much for stopping by. Enjoy your night, enjoy your evening. See you tomorrow, and thanks for watching. Bye.